Now it's time to clean one of these guns that we just fired. I know what you're thinking, that muzzle loaders are a pain to clean. Well, they're not, and here's why. First, today's guns are much easier to clean because of features like the CVA quick release breech plug, which allows you to remove the breech plug without any tools at all. Just a few turns with your fingers will do the trick. Second, Cleaner shooting propellants like IMR White Hots leave much less residue than the old style powders. And the residue that they do leave is much less corrosive. And third, the cleaning products that are now available are the best and easiest to use ever. Now Chad has those products spread out right here and he's going to tell us all about them. First, we've got the latest and greatest stuff from the CVA Barrel Blaster line of cleaning products. Foaming bore cleaner, Wonder Gel solvent, quick clean patches, rust prevent patches, parts soaker, rust prevent spray, and the anti-C stick. Now we have all the cleaning accessories and tools that we'll need to get the job done quickly and easily. First, we have the CVA Lifetime Range Rod. Now let me give you a little hint. Cleaning and loading on the range is much easier with a good range rod, rather than trying to use the loading rod on your gun. Then, we've got a bore brush, cleaning patches, a breech plug pick, and an oil cloth. Now what you're going to see here is the easy way to clean a muzzle loader. With these new guns, propellants, and cleaning products, and cleaning techniques, you'll save yourself a lot of time and trouble. So let's get started and let Chad take it away. Okay, the first thing that I do is run a bore brush through the bore. This loosens up all the fouling that has accumulated in the barrel during shooting. Next, I run one quick clean patch through the barrel. Then I take the breech plug out of the barrel. See how easy this is with a quick release breech plug? And I place it in the parts soaker. Then we want to remove the barrel from the action. You only have to remove one screw. Then I'll break the action open just like this and the barrel comes right out. Next. I'll set the barrel down on a horizontal surface and spray Barrel Blaster Foaming Bore Cleaner into the bore and let it work on its own for about an hour or so. Essentially, the Foaming Bore Cleaner is doing all of the hard work for me while I'm off doing something else. In about an hour, I'll just run two or three patches through this barrel and it's clean. That's all easy enough, Chad, but what about the guy who needs to clean the barrel in a hurry, say in the field, or the guy who still uses sabots and needs to clean the barrel between the shots? Well, for those situations, what I recommend is the Barrel Blaster Wonder Gel. What's unique about the Wonder Gel is that it is a gel rather than a liquid, so it won't spill out in your shooting box or your possibles bag. And because it sticks to the patch, it's more economical to use. Now that you have the gel on the patch, you run the patch through just like you would with any other solvent, repeating the process until they come out clean. Now that the barrel has been cleaned with either the barrel blaster or wonder gel, Chad sprays down the action with rust prevent spray. Then he wipes it down good with the oil cloth. Now if Chad was doing a thorough cleaning job, say like at the end of the season, he had also removed the firing pin and spring, cleaning and lubricating those prior to reinstalling. Again, a very easy process with a gun like the Acura. Once finished with the frame, he'll spray down the barrel with rust prevent spray and wipe it down. Now it's time to reassemble the gun. He places the barrel back in the action and installs the forestock. Then the breech plug is removed from the parts soaker. The face of the plug is cleaned with a brush. The fire channel is cleaned with a breech plug pick. And lastly, anti-seize is applied to the threads using the anti-seize stick. 
Chad, that's a very important step. It sure is, and if you forget to use the anti-seize, it could make the breech plug virtually impossible to remove the next time you fire the gun, and that's not a good thing. Now, with the threads well coated, Chad can just screw the breech plug into the barrel, insert the ramrod, and he's done. That looked pretty easy, Chad. <laughs> Piece of cake. Mm -hmm. This gun is ready for storage. You know, with the right cleaning products and the right cleaning tools, cleaning a muzzle loader has never been easier. Thanks, Chad. You did a good job. Thank you.